I found another tree that could use our help. This right here is a green ash. It's a critically endangered species of ash because of the emerald ash borer. But you can see it's producing a lot of good viable seeds and unfortunately if we come over here, it's being suffocated out by this invasive vine called Oriental Bittersweet. Here's the tree, you can see the two stems there and you can see the vine climbing up it. The tree is kind of leaning this way to get more sunlight. The tree is declining, it's got some dead wood, it's clearly infected with the ash borer, but if we can get rid of this invasive vine and help it get more sunlight to produce more seeds, that's a win in my book. So I got my tools here and let's get to work. So even though this tree may succumb to the ash borer within the next five years, getting rid of this invasive non-native vine will prevent it from spreading to other trees. Also, the tree will get more light, which means more energy and hopefully more seeds. All right, I cut just about every one I could find. Some big ones back here. I cut them as low to the ground as, we, as I could. And check out this big chunk that I just cut out. See how many years old it is. You can count the rings. This thing's almost 20, probably upwards of 20 years old. That's crazy. So there we go. This is what it looks like. We'll come back in a week or two and see what the tree looks like then after all of this stuff, all of the vines have died. So this is what the vine and tree look like about two weeks later. We did a good job cutting all the vines. You can see all the dead leaves, but the tree itself is pretty sparse. It's certainly a lot better looking than most ash trees in southeastern Pennsylvania though. And we'll just hope for the best.